Hello YouTube, how you doing? How's everybody going today? We are going to do a review on the Phoenix Lighting PD40R version 3 flashlight. This is a super bright mechanical rotary switching flashlight according to the label. And I have used this at night and I can tell you it is in fact a super bright flashlight. Uh, it has a very cool activation mode. It, you can basically use it from any direction that you're holding it. So you're not hunting for buttons. Uh, it's not a tail clip ca cap design. It's got this rotary knob on it, which is pretty cool. You just turn it. And the more you turn it, the brighter it gets. If you pick it up, turn it all the way, you get right to strobe. And that is possible to do with a single twist. Well, at least up to turbo mode. Okay? So this is a very bright light. It would have some definite uses as a tactical light. You know, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I still like a tail cap better than this. But... This is a good design, and it's uh, pretty unique. I have not seen another flashlight with this type of activation method, but it's cool. What it does is it lets you allow, allows you to have a lot of modes on one switch without having to sit there and cycle through them all, which is a total no-go for tactile. So you got moonlight, and you got a, like a low, medium, high, uh, SOS strobe, And then you have your uh, pulse mode. So again, that's moonlight, low, medium, high, SOS. And I believe my Morse code is a little rusty, but I believe that is literally flashing SOS. So that's cool. And then you have, and that's a lower mode, so I guess... The reason for that is because at night that's still going to really stand out anyway and it'll last for a lot, lot longer. And then you have your uh, pulse strobe mode for blinding your attackers. And this has a uh, USB Type-C recharging port where we at down here, right there. Comes with the USB-C in the box and it has a nice positive lock. A lot of them, they flip right off. They're really easy. This one seals real nice, so it's probably got pretty good water integrity. And then uh, the head unscrews, uh, and you can take the battery right out of it. Let me demonstrate that. And the head unscrews right off the light. Take the battery right out, 5,000 milliamps. It's a Phoenix light. I am not sure if this is proprietary or not. I'm not a battery expert. 21,700 it is, 3.6 volts, 18 watt hours. So that's a big boy right there. So very, very bright flashlight. Comes with a holster. Uh, manual and let's hop on the manual right here and we can see all the specs there's your outputs I mean I could run through them but hey we can just read them right out of the manual right and then there's your chart for your performance and you can pause on the screen and take a look at that at your leisure but that's a quick tabletop overview of this light. Let me put it back together real quick. And there it is in the holster. It's a nice holster. It's got a uh, D-ring clip on the back. It's got uh, your loop for your belt. And you can peel the belt Velcro so you don't even have to take your belt off to put it on. Very handy. Very secure. And you just got a Velcro closure holding in there. And uh, it does also come with a very nice lanyard. Uh, most of them are very, very flimsy, I find, but this one's much, much thicker than most lanyards. So, really nice, but we will get out here tonight, and we will compare it to another light, and we will uh, make our judgments as to how bright this thing is, and does it pass the mustard. All right, folks, let's get out at night. Okay, YouTube, so here we are. We are on the Homestead Rifle Range. Anyone who's watched a lot of my videos knows that we have a 100-yard target, 12 by 20 inch, set up right across the lake here, and it's painted dark colors. And this is a great test for the power of a flashlight. So the first thing we're going to use here is an Olight Seeker 3 Pro. I believe this has 2600 lumen maximum output. So let's light this sucker up. Now if we look down there across the river... This is now on maximum output, and this is bright. You can very, very 
in person, I will circle it here on the screen. In person, you can very, very clearly see that 12 by 20 inch target down there. And this is a super bright flashlight with hundreds of meters of throw. Very, very potent. So there's our target over there, looking at it with the Olight Seeker Pro 3. Now, I think they have a newer version of this out called the Seeker 4, which I think might even be a little brighter. This is actually a Seeker 3 Pro Bright is the exact model of this one, and it's brand new. They just warrantied this for me not that long ago. So, okay, we're going to turn this one off, and we are going to go to the uh, Phoenix flashlight that we are testing here. One moment. Now, both this Phoenix and the Olight are approximately the same price. Okay, now, as you can see, this Phoenix, the beam is much tighter focused. And it definitely lights that way more brightly across there. It's a huge difference how much brighter this is. In fact, let me turn on the Olight first, and then I'll kick on the Phoenix, and you'll be like, whoa. How much brighter it is it's pretty pretty impressive okay let's get this Olight fired up one thing i can say i definitely like the uh user interface of the phoenix way better okay there's the Olight on maximum intensity now the phoenix boom as you can see that phoenix is significantly more powerful with the flood and much higher candela rating now the Olight is a more diffuse beam it's a uh, Got a wider flood mode. However, even though this has a more, the Phoenix has a more focused beam, as you can see when I turn off the Olight here, even though the Phoenix is a more focused beam, it does have a significant uh, flood mode as well. You know, it's not just like an LEP light where it's just all funnel and, uh, you know, it's like where you're looking through a straw. So this is a, very, very bright flashlight. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Remind me out.